Jesus the Christ, we thank you, amen, uh, for God, the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Ghost, amen. Uh, Jesus died for our sins, and the Holy Ghost came down to keep us, praise God, and when he leaves this earth, we'll leave with him, amen. I'm glad I got the Holy Ghost down on the inside of me. I don't want to be left when the rapture comes. Amen. I don't know about you, but I I, I, I just can't play with this thing uh, because I don't know when God's going to call me home. Glory to God. So I thank God for the Godhead providing a way for us to make it back to him. Yes, Lord. I thank God for Archbishop Harry C. Clark and elect Lady Betty Clark. I thank God for their leadership. We called the staff to prayer the past two months, and I tell you, that time in prayer has been a blessing. Amen. Men ought to always pray and faint not. Amen. Don't get weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. So we thank God for uh, having time to be with saints to pray. Amen. God comes down and and listen to what you have to say when saints go to pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for my wife, Pastor Sitton. Amen. She was over here a long time yesterday trying to help Brother Paul. I told her, leave men's work to men. (laughs) I told her, he's going to get to the dusting off. He does that afterwards. Don't try to intervene. Amen. Leave him alone. Let him work. (laughs) Amen. We've been doing this for years. We know how to do it. Amen. <laughs> well, she put a little hand in it and swept off with part of the walkway. Thank God for you, baby. <laughs> but you don't have to do everything. <laughs> Amen. Love you to life. Thank God for Elder Burke. Amen. Deacon McCarroll, Deacon Ballinger. Thank God for uh, the superintendent. We thank God for Sign Tech. We thank God for the media. Uh, people, amen. Uh, we thank God for you and your respective places, amen. Whatever you do for the Lord, we thank God for you this morning. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus, amen. Uh, today, I, I often say things that I have preached years ago uh, that should be preached, that should be preached, I should say, while we have this airtime. Because you say things and you throw it out there, but you don't back it up. So people look at you crazy. So I want to back up what I've been saying for years. And since we've been on Facebook, well, we have not preached this. And so I'm preaching an older message that has today's meaning. Amen. Because the message never get old. Amen. Come on, somebody. Uh, so that's what we're going to do this morning because more people need to hear this. Hallelujah. And I pray that it meets the ears of uh, the elite in the body of Christ. And those who have been saying things in error, but well intended. Amen. So I'm not here to knock anybody, but I'm here to straighten out your theology. Man, we as bishops, we're supposed to defend the faith. So uh, that's what I come to do. God wants his, 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 his name, you know, correctly, uh, uh, you know, done. He don't want to be uh, confused that he's some sort of uh, person who have favorites. Amen. That he picks and choose because he does not. The Bible declares he, has, he is no respecter of persons. So today we're going to deal with the word that's floating out here. It's been out there on, on, on uh, CDs and on all of that. And that word is favor. Amen. So we want to invite your attention this morning to Psalms 5. Psalms 5. I'm not going to read the whole passage. 1 through 12, but I do want to read verse 12. We'll go through it, but I want to read verse 12. Amen. Psalms 5, 
verse 12. Amen. Everybody ought to be tuned in that's going to tune in, hopefully, uh, by way of Facebook. We thank you for tuning in, whoever you are. Amen. Hit us up, chime in, let us know how you uh, like the message or dislike the message. <laughs> Psalm 5 and 12 says, For thy Lord will bless the righteous with favor. Wilt thou compass him as with a shield? Did you hear that? For thy Lord will bless the righteous with favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. I want to talk about finding favor with God. You may take your seat. Finding favor with God. Father God, we do humbly bow before you to say thank you. Thank you for putting this in my spirit this past week. Thank you, Lord God, that we are able now to bring forth your word we ask your anointing be upon your word and not my words. For we know, Lord God, if the anointing is on your word, it will leap out of this building, go through the world wide web, and touch someone all the way around the world. We, we appreciate what you have allowed us to do, amen, in the media. So, Father, we, get it, we give it into your hands and we leave it there. Amen. Amen. Favor. As I said previously, someone said favor ain't fair. That denotes that God is a God who, like some parents, have favorite children. Amen. Uh, and so I, I, I love this one. I sort of like this kid, but I love this kid. So I, I go to the store and I get that kid something that I don't get for the other kids. Uh, so what you're saying is God picks and choose, mm -hmm. but that's not who I serve. God is no respect to a person, but he respects faith. He respects righteousness. Amen. So what then is favor? Favor denotes grace in a person, graciousness, grace on the part of a giver of favor. Uh, that's from the Greek word charis, C-H-A-R-I-S. Charito, it's not, I mean, uh, that, wasn't, that, wasn't, that wasn't Greek, that was Hebrew, excuse me. Uh, charito, to cause to find favor, to cause to find favor. That's why I entitled this, Finding Favor with God. You remember Mary minding her own business in her house. When the angel appeared unto her, it said, Blessed are thou above all women, for thou hast found favor with God. Amen. So then, grace implies more than favor, because grace is a free gift. Everybody gets grace. Amen. But favor may be deserved again. So I dare not say that I deserve it. No, you can't say you deserve favor. Because you've gone through something, amen, that God looked upon you going through and you kept going through until you got to the blessings. Amen, somebody. You didn't turn back. You didn't stop when it got hot in the fire. Uh, when the water got deep, you just learned how to swim and float. Come on, somebody. You, you stayed the course because you knew who your God is. Come on, some. See, a lot of people see the glory, but they don't know your story. We got to tell our stories. We, why are you so blessed? Well, you want to be blessed like me? You, you want this favor that I have on my life? Well, this is what I did to get it. I wasn't doing it to get it. I was just doing it because I loved the Lord. And, and I was walking in uh, his righteousness. Come on, somebody. And because I endured and I didn't take down when it got hard, then God poured favor on me. Now, every time I look around, here comes a blessing. 
Come on, somebody. And, and, and people are wondering how you do that. God, God got favor on him. Favor ain't fair. The devil is a lie. Favor is fair. Job got favor. Amen. Because he was an upright man that eschewed evil. Am I right about it? And when the Lord allowed the devil to take everything Job had, Job did not accuse God unjustly. And he endured until God stopped by. Amen. And when God stopped by, God blessed him double. Had more than what he had the last time. Don't tell me favor ain't fair. Amen. Are you willing to go through what Job went through? Hallelujah. Will you hold on to God's unchanging hand in the midst of the fire? Yeah. So favor may be deserved or gained. We gain favor. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just want you to know that. Ooh. David says in Psalms 5 and 1, to the chief musician upon Neoloth, a psalm of David, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. David was meditating on the word of God. Consider what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So he's lamenting here. He entreats God to answer his morning prayer. Describe God's hatred for sin. That's what this Psalms is all about. Ask God to guide him in righteousness. We'll find that in verse 7 through 10. And rejoices in God's protection and his blessing. Oh. So he, he outlines what God loves, in other words. He outline what God hates and he want God to take control of his life. Guide me. Oh great Jehovah. <laughs> Amen. So, so that's, those are the things that he's meditating on. Praise God. Joshua 1 and 8 says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I'm meditating on the word day and night. It's not departing from me. Uh, it'll make my way prosperous. Then I have good success. And then you see the good success. You see the prosperity. But you don't know what I went through. T.D. Jakes tells this story. How that he had a suit that he had to iron and it was slick. He went to conferences trying to find an answer. Now we see T.D. Jakes up here. And everybody thinking that. You know, he got favor from God just because he's T.D. Jakes. No, he went through amen, to get to where he is. Are you willing to iron your suit? That one suit you got? Come on, to slick. Everybody know you got that one suit because that's all they see you in. And they see it shiny. And not because it's shark skin. Because you've been ironing it too much. Come on, somebody. Amen. You walk around with holes in your shoes. You don't cross your legs because you don't want anybody to see the holes in your shoes. But you keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. Come on, somebody. You, you riding around in a struggle buggy. You park your car way in the back. You don't want anybody to know that you ride in a struggle buggy. And you walk up to the conference. People think you're doing that for exercise. No, in case your car breaks down, you way back there. <laughs> 
then, then all of a sudden, now things begin to change for you because you held on to God's unchanging hand. You didn't let the devil talk to you. Hallelujah. You didn't yield to the temptation. Then God come through and start blessing you. You found favor with God. And when you find favor with God, you'll find favor with man. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Whew. Is that all right? Oh, hearken. He says, verse 2, unto the voice of my cry, my king and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shall not hear in the morning. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. Okay, got it. That way, so I won't be pushing buttons. <laughs> my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. If you get up in the morning and you don't pray, thanking God that he kept you all night long, whew, the devil could have came and snatched your life. Am I right about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You ought to be grateful that God kept you through the night. Amen. Amen. Get down on your knees and pray. And look up. David said, I will look into the hills from which cometh all my help. My help cometh from the Lord. I know where my help comes from. Amen. Mm. Verse 4 says, For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. I know the kind of God you are. You, you hate wickedness. You hate evil. Therefore, I'm going to keep myself from wicked ways and from evilness. See, people laughing at you because you don't go to the club anymore. People laughing at you because you don't drink cutty sock anymore. Amen. Uh, you don't talk on those funny cigarettes anymore. Amen. They laughing at you wondering when you're going to get back to them. They, they made a bet on you. Uh, I give him six months, he'll be back. Mm -hmm. Give him a year, he'll be back. And, and, and then when they get a chance to present you with that, and, you know, they ask them, man, won't you come and take a drink? You ain't, you ain't drank with us in a long time, and I ain't going to drink with you again. I'm saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost, on my way to heaven, and I invite you to come get a drink of the Holy Ghost. Ah. Uh, then after a while, they start asking you to pray for them. Because, you see, they lost the bet. You don't know what's in a man's heart. He says in verse 5, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Uh, amen. God hates evil deeds. He hates that. And since he hates evil deeds, then we should not do evil deeds and think we're going to get the favor of God on our lives. Come on, somebody. Uh, Romans 5 and 10 and 11 says, For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the, the atonement. We are saved by the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. His resurrection ministry is in heaven now, keeping us saved. Amen. Every time you sin, you repent. He looks at the Father and say, forgive them. They're covered under the blood. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Woo. And he did that when we were enemies of his. And he reconciled us, brought us back into right relationship with him through Jesus' blood. Hallelujah. So no one has an excuse now. 
Uh, I just couldn't live this life. Yes, you could have, but you didn't rely on the one that would help you. So you took that excuse to commit sin. And now favor has fallen on your neighbor and not on you. Favor ain't fair. <laughs> the devil is a lie. You've been through. You, you, you came out on the other side. On the other side of through, he brought you to a large place. And you deserved it. Amen. Because you didn't take down. People say, well, I dare not say I deserve it. Yeah, oh, yes, you can say you deserve it because of what you've been through. Hallelujah. We've been through. Mm -mm. How you get two churches? I've been through 13 years of hell, not knowing if we're going to make it or not. Amen. The devil's talking live, but I'm still believing God. Yeah. Got this paid off. Got another building. Praise God. It's been fixed up and looking nice. Hallelujah. God is good. So don't tell me uh, uh, how you get two buildings. A favor? How'd you get favor? I hung in there. Didn't take down. Didn't quit. Didn't give up. Didn't walk away when everybody walked away. I stayed to the task. Hallelujah. Church couldn't pay me. Stayed to the task. My God. Who would have preached for nothing? So don't tell me favor ain't fair. Huh. <laughs> the devil is a lie. Favor is fair. Grace ain't fair. How you say that, preacher? Because listen, somebody can be a, 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 a serial killer, kill multiple people, and the day before they're getting ready to send them to the gas chamber, accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and he goes straight to heaven. You've been down here working 40, 50 years for the Lord. And the Bible said, be thou faithful unto death. And you can miss it on your deathbed by saying, you know, God didn't come heal me, so I don't think God is real. I'm, I'm through with God. And you miss it. 40 years of serving the Lord. <laughs> And none of that would be considered because at the end, just before the end, you turn your back on God. Oh, God, God will understand. I just know what the words say. Stop trying to put your thoughts about God on him. He has already given you his thoughts. Be thou faithful unto death. <laughs> Don't give up. On the brink of America. Woo. Glory to God. Yeah. So if he did that all, all for us when we were enemies. Yeah. Hallelujah. How much more would he do for us now that we're sons? Yeah. Hebrews 7 and 25 says this. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him. See, he ever liveth to make intercessions for them. Hmm. He's able to save them to the uttermost that come to God by him. That's, that means by Jesus. There's no other way to get to him but by Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I know what people are saying. Oh, I believe there's more than one way to get to God. The devil is a lie. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except by me. I'm tired of Christians trying to make God uh, something that he's not. Oh, I believe there's more than one way to get to God. It sounds pious, but it's piously wrong. 
Amen. And people, just because you got a high status in life and you say that, somebody going to pick up on it and run with it. Read your Bible for yourself. Stop taking the words of celebrities. Hallelujah. Understand the word of God. The, the Holy Ghost will guide you into reading and understanding your Bible. Ha. Ah. Praise be unto God. Drop down to verse 7 of Psalms 5. But as for me, David says, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear, reverence, will I worship toward thy holy temple. Mm. He talks in verse 6 about destroying them that speak leasing or lies. And how he abhorred the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, this personal thing, what you going to do? Your friends doing this, that, and the other. What you going to do? Uh, you going to go with your friends or you going to go with God? Come on, somebody. See, I had friends who thought I'd be back. Amen. Told me to my face. I give you this and I give you that. Now he preaching. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, I messed him up. <laughs> we were talking the other day. Amen. That's Pastor Sullivan. Praise God for him. Amen. He, he was a heathen's heathen. I was a heathen's heathen too. God used heathens to get heathens saved. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. But he said, I'm going to come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. Mercy, the Hebrew word is a seed, meaning steadfast love. Something steadfast. Whew. You don't have to worry about it. It's not shakable. It's steadfast. Am I right about it? Yeah, yeah. In other words, that it speaks to covenant. God made a covenant with you. And he's not going to break his covenant. You break it, but he won't break it. There's consequences to you breaking his covenant. Amen? That's why it's a covenant. Covenant got consequences to it. Now, you're living under the consequences of your disobedience. And then you see somebody who's living upright, who didn't have anything, amen. Now, all of a sudden, they got something, amen. And you're looking at them jealous. And, and so you hear the song, Fame Ain't Fair, but it shows signs, feels marvelous. And you say, see there, Fame Ain't Fair. When I was with the Lord, he didn't do that for me. You didn't hang out long enough. You got to hang out with the Lord. How you get friends? You hang out with them. You get to know them to see if you want to be friends with them or not. Am I right about it? You ever had somebody you thought was going to be a friend, but you realized that ain't a friend. Let me get up out of here. Yeah. You hung out with them. You got to know them. Once you got to know them, then you left them. Or you find them to be, you ever had somebody first appearance and you say, I don't know about this person. But your second opinion of them, they're all right. They're they all right. I had that happen to me numerous times. Amen. Because I was educated. They thought I was this way and that way, you know. That was their mindset. But then they found out I was all right. <laughs> Amen. Praise be unto God. Ah. So David said, I'm going to go to the house of the Lord uh, where you got a multitude of mercy. The mercy is in the house of God. Amen. Uh, verse 8 says, lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. I need you to guide me through my enemies because my enemies desire to kill me. Mm -hmm. You got some enemies, whether you know it or not. You got some. The devil has put in the minds of folk to hate you. You hadn't done anything to him. It's just the devil. Look at her. Think she all that in a bag of chips. Oh, she ain't got a new car now. You can't tell her nothing. 
<laughs> favor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, they still walking. Hmm? They hate you. Oh, sit and go to church. Don't worry about it. He ain't going to have it long. I give him six months. I give him a year. 19 years later, we still here. Paid off. Amen. Picked up another church. Paid off. My God, look at God. What's that favor? When, when you know that you in favor with God, I said this the other night. Hey, make, uh, maybe it was last week, make hay while the sun is shining. Amen. Get everything you can get while there's favor on your life. Because there's coming a time when you're going to go back through the valley. Uh-huh. To get to the next mountain. Yeah, and, and you're going to be in the valley of the shadows of death because where God is carrying you now, you're going to need more faith. So he's going to send you through more trials. But that mountain is going to be higher than the mountain you were on over here. Uh, but the valley is going to be lower than when you went through the valley the last time. But God is proving you. God is proving you that you can do this. So if you were victorious on the climbing the last mountain and going through that valley, huh? Guess what? Uh, I believe God. I believe, I believe God's favor is gonna return to me. Hallelujah. When I get to the other side of through. And we found favor with God. Now we found favor with man. I, I hit that in a minute. Amen. So David wanted to follow God's right and straight way. I don't, I don't need to be in this way where people got their own opinion about who you are, God. Amen. You, you lead me, God. I need you to lead me because if you lead me, you're going to lead in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Amen. And you're going to get the glory and I'm going to get the victory. Am I right about it? Mm. So lead me, God. Ooh. For there is, verse 9, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. The inward part is very wicked. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. My Lord. <laughs> uh, in other words, they are corrupt and dangerous. The wicked. Are you hearing me? Amen. They are corrupt and they are wicked. Ooh. All right. Praise God. Watch this. We're getting down to where we, we're dealing with this favor here in a minute. So David says this about, now we're, we're in the New Testament now, you understand that? <laughs> David says in verse 10, destroy thou them, O God, let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. He's praying a justified retribution on his enemies. But here comes Jesus and upset the apple cart. And Jesus says, pray for them. Pray for your enemies. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Say all manner of evil against you for my sake. Uh, pray for them. Don't, don't, don't render evil for evil. Amen. So he upset the apple cart. So Christians have a hard time now. They want to be like David. Get them, God. Zap them, God. God ain't going to zap them for you. God is telling you to pray for them. For in so doing, do good unto them. So in so doing, you heap coals of fire on their head that you bother their conscience. And when their conscience is disturbed, it becomes alive unto God. And they realize that you're not their enemy. And they come to you and ask you for forgiveness. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And then you being the Christian who you are. Embrace them. Amen. Love on them. Uh-huh. And accept them as a friend. He just made your enemy your footstool. So let God fight your battle. He know how to fight your battle. If you try to fight it, it'll mess up everything. So, so turn it over to Jesus. He can work it out. <laughs> I like that song. Amen. Work it out, Jesus. Do what you want to do, Jesus. <laughs> ah, so David praying the storm, man. Get rid of him. <laughs> verse 11 and verse 12. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. See, if you really love the Lord, if you really love the Lord, then you ought to have some joy. Come on, somebody. See, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And if you have joy, Satan can't keep your goods. Holly, because you're going to shout it back. Come on, somebody. You're going to praise it back. He got to give it up. Sevenfold. Amen. Make him give it up. Am I right about it? Yeah. Mm. Then he says, For thy Lord will bless the righteous with favor, with thy compass him as with the shield. So favor is comes because you are righteous. Amen. You holding on to your integrity. And you have good character when nobody's watching you. People think because the preacher don't see them, the members don't see them, amen, they can go off to a different city and do what they want to do, come back and lift holy hands. Come on, somebody. And then you wonder why sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so got blessed and you didn't. Mm. Watch out now, preacher. <laughs> but you know I'm right about it. So when you have favor, you have it not only with God, but you get it with man. Uh, three scriptures, right quick. Two scriptures. Samuel, 1 Samuel 2.26. 1 Samuel 2.26 says this, talking about Samuel. And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. He had favor with the Lord and favor with men. Men respected him. They may not respect you right now, but you hang in there. They're going to respect you. Amen. Luke 2 and 52, coming from Samuel to Jesus. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Now later on, his favor with man sort of dissipated because he didn't do what man wanted him to do. Are you hearing me? <laughs> when you don't do what man wants you to do, your favor will leave them. Amen, somebody. <laughs> so then, that's why verse 12 says, well, the, for thy Lord will bless the righteous with favor, Wilt thou compass him as with a shield? Favor shields you from the enemy. What he used to come and steal, he can't steal anymore. Your children come back home because you got favor. And they're hiding behind you. You hiding behind the shield of favor. Come on, somebody. Shields were a body shield. They're not just these little, little shield, fighting shield, but a body shield. Hallelujah. Favor is like that. It shields you from the enemy. The enemy see that God has a hedge around you. Amen. And he can't get to you. That's what he said about Joe. You got a hedge around him. Let me take down the hedge and I'll cause him to curse you to your face. <laughs> Woo, I'm glad favor is so listen you, you may have a little struggle getting what you want 
but it's coming. Amen. It's not denied you, though it's delayed. Just keep hanging in there. Keep knocking on that door till the door opens. Hallelujah. And listen, you know favor is better than wealth? Y'all know that? Favor is better than wealth. You say, well, if I'm, if I'm wealthy, then shoot, I don't care about favor. Man, give me favor. Favor begets wealth. But wealth gotten by vanity is soon fleeting. Mm -hmm. watch, watch this, watch this. It's Proverbs. We're going we're gonna to read a few verses in Proverbs. Amen. Proverbs 22 and 1 says, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. If my name is good, amen, and I got favor, <laughs> I'm going to get some silver and gold. Riches will come to my house. Amen. Proverbs 16, 15. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and in his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. What do you mean cloud of the latter rain? You had the former rain, then the latter rain, just before harvest, to increase the crop. Amen. So when you have favor with the king, he blesses you. When you have favor with the king, he blesses you. Hallelujah. And he said these blessings will come upon you and overtake you because you have favor with the king. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Y'all getting this? Mm -hmm. mm. Proverbs 19 and 12. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as the dew upon the grass. You ever... Seen grass or plants that are wilted during the day. But you go out there in the morning when the dew is falling on them. And they sucked in that dew, that moisture. And they look like they're ready to go. They thriving. Amen. Why? Because his favor is as the dew on the grass. It revives you. It makes you run on a little while longer. Amen. It encouraged you to stay with him. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 12 and 2. Now, now what y'all got to watch this. It says, a good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will be condemned. That word obtains or obtaineth lets me know that I can obtain favor. He didn't say favor ain't fair. He said I can obtain it. Are you hearing me? What does obtain mean? Obtain means to get or procure, procure through diligence or effort or to acquire. A good man will obtain favor. I'm not after favor. I'm just doing what's right unto the Lord. And I obtain favor of the Lord through my righteousness, which is in Christ Jesus. I didn't take down when it got hard. Come on, somebody. I didn't quit. But I hung in there until the blessings came. Amen. You heard my story about being in the Marine Corps and I was ready to go home and leave boot camp. I was going to quit. I was making up my mind on a daily basis to quit, go home. I'm tired of this harassment for no reason at all. And I didn't know at the time that it was the Lord, but he spoke to me and said they're trying to weed you out. And that changed my mindset. And I said, you ain't, they ain't weed me out. So I put my mind to work on my body. And my body lined up. Not only did I graduate, but I graduated with honors. 
I got that little stripe on my shoulder. What my five of us that got the little stripe? <laughs> Praise God. I got to be the God unbearable. That means I led the troops while we were marching with the flag. Hallelujah. Troop 257. I still remember the number. Huh? Little old me. That was God that was bigger than bigger than my brother here. Muscles and everything else. One guy came to me and wanted to know how I do, how I was doing what I was doing. How are you the only one that's that's still in the push-up position when everybody else is falling down? I said, mind over matter. So I applied that to everything. When I came to Christ, it's mind over matter. In other words, body, line up. We're getting ready to do this thing. And I'm hanging in there. I'm not quitting. Hallelujah. Because guess what it did for me? It caused me to obtain favor. Mm. My God. Proverbs 3. 3 and 4. <clears throat> Proverbs 3 says, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. What did I find? I found favor. Why? Because I did not let, hallelujah, mercy and truth get away from me. Mm-hmm. Woo, is that all right? Now, so then, I found this favor with God because I did what God wanted me to do. I wasn't working uh, uh, for that. I was just loving on God. And I wasn't going to go back uh, to turn back like I didn't turn back in Marine Corps. I didn't turn back, hallelujah, when it got hard in, in this part of the vineyard. But I kept pushing through. Hallelujah. Now favor has come and folk are wanting to tell me that that ain't fair. Yes, it is. You want to go through what I went through? Tell the Lord to send you some trials. To send you some tribulations. Amen. See if you can make it. If you can make it, hallelujah, you can find some favor. <laughs> Last verse. Psalms 30 and 5. We don't, we don't hear part A and B too much. We may, mainly hear C and D. Are you there? For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Mm -hmm. We always hear this part. Weeping man do it for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. In his favor is life. You're going to live. You're going to live and declare the works of the Lord. Why? God needs somebody to testify of his goodness. God needs somebody in the earth who has gone through, who can reach back and tell somebody else, hey, keep on coming, baby. You going to make it, baby. Don't give up in the midst of the fire, baby. Come on, you can swim this thing out, baby. I want you to know if I made it, you can make it too. Hallelujah. This thing was meant for you to help somebody else along the way. So God gave you favor when you passed the test. Glory to God. When you passed the test, you feel real good about passing the test. Hey, man, I, what, what you make on the test? I made a 98. 98? How you make a 98? I studied. Hey, man, what you make? I made a 67. You didn't study. <laughs> so you wish you had made a 98. No, you just wishing and hoping. No, you got to put some effort behind it. Come on, somebody. See, everybody w w wish they had something. Baby, stop wishing and start doing if you would do what God told you to do, God will bless you like he blessed somebody else. Come on, somebody. Favor is fair. Favor is because you obtained favor. Favor, when you obtain favor with God, you have favor with men. But when you're going through men looking down on you. 
men laughing at you. Men jeering at you. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> Look at you now. If you all let, you say you're the son of God, why don't you come down from the cross? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but you got to go and endure the cross. Jesus said, pick it up daily and follow me. That means I'm going to send you through what I went through. Hallelujah. Now, they ain't beating us with whips and all of that, but baby, they sure putting mouth on us. Glory to God. They sure trying to kill out our character. Am I right about it? Spread all kind of lies on you. Why? Because, see, God is with you. And when God is with you, the enemy don't like you. And because he don't like you, he's trying to tell all kind of things about you. He remember when. But, baby, don't you know that that's dead? Don't you know it's forgotten about? Don't you know that God threw that mess in the sea of forgetfulness? Don't you know now you're walking in favor? Hallelujah. You're walking upright for your God. And God is blessing you. He's pouring out blessings on you. Praise be unto God. And now everybody that didn't get blessed are jealous. Hallelujah. Let them be jealous. Uh, don't you try to uh, go back and try to straighten that mess out. If they ask you, how are you so blessed? then you can tell them I found favor with the one who made me well how did you find favor I hung in there hey when it got tight I hung in there when the money got funny <laughs> Didn't know if I was going to pay my bills. I hung in there. Somehow, some way or another, God came through every time. There wasn't any overflow. <laughs> I just barely had enough. And in that barely having enough, I kept paying my tithes and giving my offerings and paying my bills. And all of a sudden, I looked around and I had more than enough. Hallelujah. What happened? Favor dropped on me and favor lifted me up. Hallelujah. But don't get happy there. Uh, don't you stay there because there's more in God. He want to take you somewhere else. So he going to take you off the mountaintop and take you down into the valley the valley low somebody said I went down to the valley and I couldn't hear nobody praying I was down there by myself hallelujah didn't have a friend to call on but I called on Jesus down in the valley low and all of a sudden I start climbing up the mountain top one more time that mountain was steeper than the last mountain the top of the mountain was more glorious than the last mountain am I right about it hallelujah what happened I found favor on each mountain top hallelujah glory to glory face to faith I found God on the mountain top waiting on me waiting to pour out favor on me they see me now I lifted up but they don't know my story I said they don't know my story oh lord they don't know my story they don't know the hell I had to go through to get there they don't know how hot the fire got to get there they don't know how many friends dropped off for me to get there. They don't know the times I had to talk to the Lord and say, Lord, you said you would supply all my need for the original glory. Lord, here are my needs. I can't meet them and God to stop by with a just enough blessing. I said a just enough blessing. Just enough to get you to the next month. Hallelujah. So I start making this thing. We can live here another month. Every time you pay all your bills, we can live here another month. Hallelujah. Ah, the savings of time you did the tip. You know what I'm talking about? It's just dip. Hallelujah. Lord, what's happening? I got you in. 
this. It's because I got a bigger blessing for you. And you got to have the capacity to receive the bigger blessing. And it don't make you go kill. It don't make you run out on me because I blessed you real big. See, that was a little blessing back there you thought was big. But this blessing now will be bigger than that blessing. And I want to make certain that you appreciate it. So I send you to a heart of fire. I send you to a deeper river to cross. A wider river to cross. But I'm going to bring you out on the other side. So the other side for the blessed God. It's on the other side of truth where the favor is. Favor is found. Hallelujah. It's fact. Oh, you've been through some stuff. I like to use T.D. Jakes because he talks about his life in West Virginia. You know, country boy in West Virginia. Look at him now. He been through to get to. And what I like about him, giving kudos out to him and his God, so many that got that high fail, but he's still standing. You appreciate God when you have to go through. Amen. You appreciate him. You can appreciate the millions of dollars when you didn't have any. <laughs> you won't forget your God. God told the children of Israel, I'm sending you to a land filled with milk and honey. He said, now when you increase in silver and gold, don't forget your God. Don't forget who got you there. Amen. Because if you, if you forget who got you there, then I'm going to take you out the land. And that's what they did. They forgot their God. And he carried them into captivity because they forgot their God. They didn't know how to prosper. Nothing wrong with being rich. Just be rich through and through. That's what the OJ said. Amen. Y'all remember the old days. <sighs> Amen. Be rich through and through. That means I'm going to use my riches for good. I'm going to use my riches to help somebody else along the way. Be like Bill Gates. Amen. And Warren Buffett. They're using their billions for good. The more they give out, the more come into their coffers. You can't give it away and not receive. Amen. Praise God. Stand to your feet. The doors of the church are open. You may come however the Lord leads you. candidate for baptism, you can come. Join by Christian experience, you can come. Hallelujah. To just come back home because you're backslidden and God said, I'm married to you. Isn't that something God don't ever throw us away? We walk away from him, but he says, I'm married to the backslider. So if you're here today and you need to make a decision, hurry up, make that decision. 